Here we have identity, identify the polynomial functions and they give us a bunch of poly functions and they want us to know, is it a polynomial or not? So in order for it to be a polynomial, the exponents on X have to be positive integers, okay? Or another way of saying positive integers is whole numbers, okay? Um, but not even that, it can't even be whole numbers because whole numbers usually start at one and no, that's natural numbers. Natural numbers start at one because natural numbers are like counting numbers and they start one, two, three, four. Whole numbers do start at zero. So for it to be a polynomial, your exponent must be a whole number. That means no fractions and no negatives, okay? So for instance, here I have a product of a bunch of things and that's okay. This exponent is one, which is a whole number. This exponent is one, which is a whole number. This exponent is one, which is a whole number. The exponent outside the parentheses is also a one. So when I apply it, it'll keep that as an X to the one. Outside this parentheses, we have a square, which means when I apply it, I'm going to get x squared. But that is still whole numbers. So for this polynomial, I mean for this function, yes, it is a polynomial. For this one, it looks like the exponents are positive and they are whole numbers. However, this expression is not an expression that has a positive exponent because this factor right here can be written as x to the negative 5 and that means that the exponent is actually a negative exponent and I'm looking for whole numbers which are positive it's 0 1 2 3 so on and so forth but positive okay and that negative five doesn't fit the description. So this is no, not a polynomial. Here I have three and a seven exponent, which are whole numbers, so that's good. This can be written as six x to the one half, right? So fractions do have to be written in their exponent forms and square roots or any kind of radicals also need to be written in their exponent form and now I have a half exponent. A half is not a whole number so this would be no not a function. Here I have a negative exponent which is not a whole number so no. Remember it has to be positive in order for it to be a whole number. Here I have a 7 and that's okay so that's a function. Here I have 4 and I have 2 and this can be rewritten as But notice that the fraction is the coefficient, not the exponent, okay? So this is different than this situation. In this situation, the variables were in the denominator, and so it needed to be written as a negative exponent. Here, the uh, variables are in the numerator, and so they stay exactly the way they are, okay? So four is an, a whole number, two is a whole number, so this is a polynomial. This can actually be rewritten as 5x to the 0 because there's no x's there. And we know that x to the 0 is just 1. And what is 5 times 1? It's just 5, right? So these expressions are equivalent, okay? And if I look at this, the exponent here on the variable is 0. 0 is a whole number. So this is also considered a polynomial.